good morning guys welcome to today today is tuesday tuesday and tomorrow we will already be having lessons at this time or we will just be getting ready to have lessons and right now we're just waking up horses have such a good way of letting you know what they want can you guys guess oh they stopped looking can you guys guess what these guys want you guessed it they want breakfast they're like give me all the food so sam has been insisting lately that the horses stay outside all day for the summer and i kind of agree with him like i wake up in the morning and they're kind of calm out there i'm gonna feed the ponies first this is how much food the poor little ponies get little mini pony behind door number one back it up sister oh my goodness what are you guys doing in the night oh molly stop right hold on you get green that's yours Wow, it's so breezy and cool this morning. That's so good. I am here, Molly. I am here. Okay, so tell me this is not amazing, what I just did. One, two, three. I just did it all myself. Although I don't know how this is going to go when storm finishes. Get eating, Chino. Faster. Faster. Storm and Chino are the slowest eaters on earth. All right, so I want to open this area up to the ponies again. I'm nervous about the little tiny bits of grass that are there. Hopefully it'll be gone like so fast that it won't make much of a difference and I can alter how much hay I give them. I think the reason that it's like so difficult for me to manage all the different foods is because I am trying to manage everybody's weight so that they're a great weight, so that they're healthy. I don't want any chubby horses, even though Finn is a bit chubby. I have those most awful headache i've had it for two days now and it's like a stabbing pain just above this ear so then this ear aches so every once in a while when i'll be talking all of a sudden i'll get this big stab i think it's because i've started to try and not eat sugar again and my body is detoxifying and saying get me all the sugar Stuffy's still up at the house because she has a friend over Kay uh, gabby is at kaylee's again wow who knew that them moving so close would mean that gabby would be gone all the time last night after riding sophia and i decided to pack it in and go and hang out with some friends so i am going to show you guys that footage right now what we did last night without gabby without sam just us two girls i'm going to show you that and then i'll catch you guys back here okay so now we're doing something that we never ever do sophia and i are headed out on our own little adventure and we're gonna take you guys with us all right you guys can you guess where we are we're back at the beach but we came to the fun side this time i wonder if we could walk back along the water yeah i wonder if we could i bet you'd be faster i'm gonna walk over there in a few minutes and see anyway we came with shayla and her grandma and sophie gabby's gone to kaylee's again now that she lives 15 minutes away it's a little too handy <laughs> and so sophie and i were like let's just go do something we left Sam at home, and they're about to see where the drop-off is. I hope they don't notice it, and then they end up reading it. Oh, wait, you should see. Like, everybody falls at this beach. Look at, look at how you can tell they're going. Yeah, that's what you have to do. Oh, it looks like Sheila went down a step. It's really far out here compared to the other beach. The other side. Is it cold? <laughs> She's like, I gotta get back up there. Uh -huh. What a difference, eh? In just a couple of steps. Uh -huh. Did you find the drop off, Shayla? Yeah. I'm so She's like, I found it. So there she goes. Oh. See how that happens? <laughs> that, that time when you're laughing so hard you can't save yourself, you can't get up. <laughs> So we missed it on camera, but Sophie and Shayla I jumped in a puddle. I jumped in a puddle. And Sophie fell and I almost fell. How deep was it? Not that deep. To like here. The puddle was up to there. It looked just like a harmless little puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> so 
what happened to Sophie? I'm in the water. Oh, yeah, my. go ahead. Literally, we were laughing so hard I couldn't even it's get the camera out. On you. Yeah. It's like a mud bath. Yeah, it's okay. like a like a nice mud bath. I didn't go far. Show Shayla where it drops off. Yeah, you I'm waiting for that for the okay. for the fall to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sophie was blocking it. It always happens though. <laughs> like you can't see it. You can't see it in this spot, so you just well, walk them right down. Yeah, that's what they do. It's so funny. That was funny. I missed it almost. Well, Sophie was Sophie was blocking, so I could, yeah, just like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I want to introduce you to our cousin, Sophia. It's true, we have a, a daughter named Sophie and a cousin named Sophia. Sophia is the crazy version of Sophie. She's the grown-up version, the, the hair-doing, face-washing, dressing so she matches. My face isn't dirty. No. <gasps> Turn around, do a twirl with her beautiful-looking bun. Gorgeous. Wait, who's that over there in the barn? Shayla. Shayla, you guys are twins. I love it. You both got black shorts on, so you should have put on a blue shirt. Stand there with your matching hair. I knew something was wrong when Sophie came down with a, with a beautiful little bun. I knew somebody must have helped her. Did you learn how to do it on your own? No. Oh, it's I easy. I can't see on top of my head. Yeah, but you just do it with your fingers. You feel. <laughs> I've tried Oh, well, you guys look be looking beautiful. We have a full day with Shayla and Sophie, and we're going to show you guys what we get up to. So I am making breakfast for Shayla, and I opened up our trusted, trusty egg carton. These are all eggs from our chickens. So I picked up eggs to crack. Everything was going well until I picked up this egg that comes with a chicken attached, what? Sophia. What happened? You're in charge of making sure they're clean. All right, do you guys see it out there? That big, huge trailer, somebody's poop picking. See them? Someone's poop picking? Yep, taking all of our poop. All right, so we are shopping. We're gonna get something super fun to do with our horses today. But I'm gonna go to the grocery store. Where are you guys going? Dollar store. Dollar store. You know Sophie loves a dollar store. Like dollar stores are, she wants to own a dollar store one day. I think she will. All right, what do I need here? All right, so I got oranges, apples, and carrots. Grocery store was packed. I'm already done. I'm already back here. Sophie's still shopping. Sophie is still shopping. You guys do not know how much of a shopping girl she is. She just loves to look at everything, figure out everything on her own. She's only 10, but I love that about her. I love that she like is developing her own skills in life. Like Gabby is not a shopper. Who do you think Sophie gets her shopping from, you or me? You. I think you. I don't like shopping. You shop all the time. You've always shopped for years and years and years. You, He shops. Like, I'm more like Gabby. Like, get frustrated. Don't want to look at all of it. Don't want to. But Sam likes to shop. He always used to come home and be like, okay, well, I got this. Like he'd, I'd be, like, getting ready for a party or a barbecue. And he'd be... And he would always want to get out of the house as fast as he could in the morning. And he'd be like, I'll go and get all the pop that we need. And I'll go get whatever. And then he would come home with like 17 other things that we didn't even need. Like, I got sparklers for the kids. And I got sand buckets for the grandkids. And I got steak just in case we decided to have steak too. Like, he likes to shop. He's like, Sophie, you're, do you see it now? Do you see it now? Come on, do you see it? Nope, because now I'm not a shopper. Yeah, he's gotten older and he doesn't like it as much. But... Sophie gets it from him. Five hours later. Look, they look kind of the same, eh? Like same height. Bobsy twins. Bobsy twins. Bunsy twins. Bunsy twins. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. What the heck did you buy? That's a huge bag. Great deal. Great deal. <laughs> so I was going to get one bag of cheesies. Then she's like, do you want to get another bag of chips? Because it's cheaper. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
airheads and so me and Chet and Lola are sharing airheads. So you just bought candy? And whatever these things are. Oh my gosh. All right, I didn't say she was good at shopping or good at making good choices. She just likes to buy stuff. That's what I got. Oh, those look yummy. Chocolate almonds. And I got Molly this. Aw, but she's always thoughtful and always sharing. Sharing is caring, you guys. So, the guy took a whole thing of horse poop and there's still a whole thing of horse poop left. All right, so this is what I made up at the house. We're gonna do a little challenge video. This is what we went to the grocery store for. You guys probably already know what it is, but we're gonna shoot that. I'll probably put it up as an extra video because there's never enough room in our videos. All right, we have moved on from our video. We made our video and I think it's gonna be one of the best videos we've done. It was so funny. It's hard to go the other way. <laughs> I don't like you going underneath the ladder. That's dangerous. <laughs> oh, look at, they made a whirlpool. Look at all the creatures. They're all going the same way. I can't swim. The pool is so nice and warm. Ow. Pool is super, super hot. It's gorgeous out today. Like it gets really hot when the sun comes out and then the clouds come and it feels amazing. Doesn't right, it feel well, amazing? It's time to get out. Yeah, we're gonna eat now. So we haven't picked up Gabby yet from Kaylee's. Um, we're gonna do that in a little while. But we're gonna go up. Sam went to get us supper. He went to get us some subs. We'll show you when they come. So girls got subs and some sun chips. What'd you get? She got like an Italian meat thing, right? Mm -hmm. And Sheila got BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. And she got chips too. I forgot to show you guys. I feel like on YouTube, there are a lot of videos that are like $10,000 to the winner. And I feel like it's always fake. So I try and keep our challenges to like a reasonable amount of money so that I can always pay that. She got $5, oops. She got $5, congratulations, Sheila. So, the most exciting day of my life is about to happen. So basically, you guys know that when we first moved here, Sam designated the poop pile here. This is where he put it. He just went ahead and chose it, didn't even ask me. And I asked him about it and he said it's easy to get to. And I was like, yeah, okay, I totally agree. Like, I supported him on it. And now, a year and a half later, our poop pile it's this big and people have been coming to take it like we've had several people come and get poop just today alone we've cleared off this whole section somebody came and took it we were sitting at home having supper just now and a man messaged and said like i want to come and get all of your poop and i'm like yeah that's what they all say they all say i want all of your poop and then they come and they say all right i'll be back for more and then they never come back so just now this man who lives pretty close came dropped off his tractor like he dropped off this tractor he's gone to get his dump truck and he's taking it all he says he's taking it all so we'll see but i think we're about to be poopless so say goodbye to all the poop say goodbye after it's gone i was thinking we should move it we should move it maybe over to this spot that's over here a nice clean a nice clean grassy spot by the by the barn but then i was thinking like when people come like here and so then it was the first it would be the first thing they see is the poop pile and then i realized there's no place better for our poop than right outside this door like he did pick a good spot no other place has easy access to the barn so what i'm thinking is maybe we could put it right here right here behind this area that the horses come out. What do you guys think? It'd be kind of hidden by this grass in the summer. It wouldn't block all, like people wouldn't, it wouldn't be such, it, would, it wouldn't be such a huge eyesore if we just moved it back to here. How would we get it back there then? We'd have to go pretty far. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking right now, but yeah. Goodbye guys, like goodbye forever. Right, well, at least till another year and a half. All right, so we are just about ready to end our vlog. She's jumping? I thought you guys were gonna go for a walk. It started raining. It's not raining now. Do you wanna go for a walk first? 
How about we go with a, for a walk after? Because then we can cool them out. Okay, sounds walk. good. So the girls have been down and playing in the barn, getting the ponies ready. They want to do some stuff. You guys she might. Chunky. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. The grass is bad for her. She's chunkies. Yeah, like, but she wasn't that fat like this morning before she started eating. But anyway, her chest is back to get back to normal. Gracie's like, do something with me. All right, you guys gonna play with them? Yeah. Okay. This is it, this is it. This is not it. They're like, get frisky for girls. They're nice looking horses. <laughs> Mom. Oh, she likes big. Come on, line up. They're like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> this is what boys do. They stand there and stare at the girls walking by. They're whistling. They're like, woo, woo. Yeah, and Willow's like, take me, pick me. And Chino's like, I'm coming with you. <laughs> All that noise was Willow and Finn. Look, you can hardly see his ribs anymore. And I see a bit of a pot belly on him. Willow still wants the boys. <laughs> she still wants the boys. They want to get out. I know. We'll be back. You want him?